Okay, this is the remake of making your YouTube banner animated GIF. And I am trying out this here XSplit. I, I figure out how to change up the quality a little bit higher. And so we're going to start here in a moment. I just want to make it wiggle around. Everyone likes that look. Alright, so I want to jump into Cinema 4D here. And if you're not quite sure how what the correct size settings are, you can always just click on edit channel art and I'll show up right here. You need 2560 by 1440. So let's go ahead and change the render settings to the number it just said. I gotta relook. Hmm. 2560. And 1440. Alright, and, and I am only going to be doing a 5 frame. So I'm just going to have it manual here from frame 0 to frame 5. Eh, might be able to get, yeah, 5 frames there. And let's see, we're going to save it as. Uh, PNG and we're just going to save it alright we're going to save it right into the documents here make a new folder YouTube intro go ahead and open it and just name first file whatever alright so now that we have it where it's going to be saving to Okay, let's go ahead and start editing here. So you can load up, a, if you have a background picture, you can go load that up to many different options. I'm just going to be going randomly here. Uh, I want to go ahead and make a background. I'm trying to see if I have a good image in mind. Not really. So I'm going to go with something a little bit dark for our background. No, I think I had one. I can never make up my mind. I think I'll just go with a floor. Go ahead and remove the background. Floor. I'm going to have a little bit reflective on it. Let's change the reflective down about 25. Go the color. Have a little bit of a granite on it. Uh, kind of want dark on the edges. Sorry we're not very talkative at the moment. Long day at work. Just try and get things figured out. And let's see how this hair floor looks. Kinda looks like little spotlights hanging down. I think it might be alright. Gotta maybe find the right angle. And of course I'll just keep on repeating. So we're gonna go down with MoGraph, MoTeX. And label it as what you want. I always prefer to line in the middle. Let me go ahead and just turn around. Let's check this hair down. I will be laying it down as well. Now remember, as you can see here on the frame, uh, let me reach and click over. You can kind of see here on the frame where it's going to be cut off. So that will be your work area. Yeah, make sure you have enough room for your little icon be showing up here. 
So you will have to be zooming out, or you can shrink the text down. So you go ahead and choose your font that you would prefer. Check out this here, Space Age. Now I'm just going to go ahead and roll this here on back. So it's more viewing towards the camera. Kind of not enough as you can see here. Pull it back. Let me go ahead and re, re rotate this back up some as well. Let's throw some color in there. Since this background is going to be a little bit dark. Uh, actually, this here white kind of looks good. Mm, let me kind of give it a little bit of reflective. Maybe about 5%. And I want a little bit, little bit of glow. So let me see. Bring it down about 11%. And the color. Let's give it a good texture. There we go. That's not too bad. Alright, so now because I'm going to be making a griff, I want to have a little bit of a shatter effect. So going for the poly FX and the random, wherever it's located at. So you click on the random and change the fall off to. I usually like spear. Now I have a nice control area. And from here you can kind of get up close and see what your effect is really doing. You can like go into more deep. E e e there are several different ways you can change it, like the size as well. Uh, I just want to kind of spread out a little bit more. It's just going to be for a griff, so it's not going to be too fancy. I don't think those will do anything in this here set. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and change the fall off a little bit less. So now that deer kind of moves along, makes things shattered. I want to have it take out a little bigger area. More area to distort. So 
so I'm only going to have in about six frames total. And I like to start it here in the beginning. Go ahead and pre check it out real quick. Make sure you got enough room for your logo there on the left side. Alright, that looks kind of good. Uh, I'm happy with that nice and quick. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a keyframe right here. And now I'm going to move to keyframe 5. And move this down to the end. I'm going to leave it right about there. And so you can see it just moves kind of down. Be nice little quick. Um, I'm not sure if I got my other machine on for rendering. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I'll go ahead and render this out team wise real quick. Now that we have this here done, let's pull this up in Photoshop. So switch this here on out, jump in uh, Photoshop here, click on Windows, Timeline, Add Media, and now I have to remember where I put these files. I think it was in Documents, YouTube, PNG 0 through 5. And this here, I'm bringing the how long each frame is open down some. Because that way it doesn't take, you know, a full minute before it rota rotates. And afterwards, click on File, Save for Web. And you try and get it, ooh, yeah, this here's going to be perfect little file size see here. Looks not too bad. You want to have it looping forever. That's important. And go ahead and save this real quick. After that is saved, go ahead close that on out. And Select a file from here, we'll go Documents, find the GRIF, open that up. Now if it's close to the 2 megabytes, it will let you upload it, but then it won't let you save it afterwards. I have ran into that problem a few times. If I do make one for you, let me know and I'll remake it a little bit smaller size for that. Alright, let me adjust this hair crop a little bit. Eh, I think that'll be fine. As you can see here now, uh, I should have zoomed out a little bit further with the Cinema 4D. I'll probably remake this as well, but I just want to give you a quick example here. And here you see it being saved. Oh, it, it looks like it's going to light up fine here on full screen. So let me refresh my page. Oh yeah, going across. Nice and smooth. Maybe I should have went with a little bit brighter colors. But everything's a learning process. Please like, comment, subscribe, send me hate mail, something awesome like that. Check out my webpage here. I'm still working on it. I, I got some cool free downloads up in there. Uh, check out my other cool stuff. Uh, I like to build stuff, toy around stuff. Anyways, have a great day. Oh, also check out the Cedar Workshop. He has some cool stuff. Uh, JM Gaming Walkthrough, he's cool. Uh, many other f feature channels. Um, have a great day. Shoot, shoot, stars. Didn't even get to uh -huh.